Hey everyone, this is Asmore from the Baca Bros once again, and this is part two of Overlooker 2. And uh, let's get this started. So I'm actually right back where I was um, before, and I'm trying to figure out what the heck this means. Um, it may just be nothing, but yeah. Who knows? Of course, I'm going to delete everything that's probably kind of boring in this game. But, ooh, key. Let's see what happens. We're going to need books. I haven't actually like tried for any books yet. Die, ghost. Die. Oh. Oh, dang it. Where's the wrong button? Okay, wrong button. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? So I need to find a key somewhere else. <clears throat> I was looking for my area has the needs that code. Doors are locked. So it's my inventory looking. Pretty grim. Try this shotgun. It's shotgun time. It's shotgun time. Sure what the crap is going on. Let's try that again. Ah! 
<laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> no, 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 Let's try to... Where's my gun? Where's the gun? Try to pistol again. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna drop my freaking pistol. Oh boy. Alright, this is not gonna go well. For Daniel. Let's do it anyway. Let's uh, skip through this part. Yeah. Thank you. 
can't pick up anything, and these shoe marks are not telling me anything. Um, kind of at a loss right now. So I got a key though, so the key opens something. There's a couple doors that need to be open, so let's check it out. It's probably the door. It's right here. So I've already been in here actually. What's the door over here? Orange? Yes, Ricky. Okay. was like a, I guess I'm a student game or a practice game, but hey, I thought it was pretty good. Um, you know, it didn't disappoint other than the lack of there being a boss at the end or something. Um, that's kind of a, I don't know, like, I mean, it's not a bad thing, like, um, it's kind of like hyped me up, you know, that all the clouds and everything, I figured that'd be some kind of like big conclusion to it. Um, you know, something like that. Um, it's a pretty small game, but also, you know, as a test game, I thought it was pretty fun. Um, something that I might say is make the um, attack boxes a wee bit smaller because I noticed how I was getting attacked and getting hit, and I wasn't even close to them, and vice versa. I didn't even see, like, the animation of my weapon wasn't even close to them, and I was actually hitting them. And that confused me a bit. And um, so, if anything, make the uh, make the attack boxes smaller, um, or make the animations larger. One of the two, but still, you know, if they're not hitting you, then they shouldn't be hitting you. You know. But I loved it. You know, I like the the paperwork that you had to read and everything. I like the items. I like the fact that you can only purchase a certain amount of 
you know, items as well, you know, that was really cool, and it had to make me think, um, as well, like, how the item boxes were save points, that was really cool, too, um, made it, you know, for a reason to go to those points more often to either drop off items or to, uh, to save there, it made it more, uh, relevant. So, um, anyway, I don't really rate games, but I think that, uh, this one was a really good indie game, and, uh, I look forward to playing more of his stuff. So, thank you, and the end. <laughs> uh, I am playing Minecraft Story Mode again. Uh, this game has horrible, horrible save points, and doesn't seem to give an obvious, uh, an obvious notification that it's saving. <clears throat> so it's like, oh, did I play this part yet? Yes, I did. Every time you go back to play again, it's like, oh, go ahead and play back through the last part you randomly quit through, but you played already. Um, anyway, so I got through the second half of